Ikaw ba ay isang SSS member pero wala pang SSS online account? Kung ganoon panoorin ang video na ito upang malaman kung paano mag-register ng iyong account online. First po na gagawin is pumunta sa Google, mag-type po ng SSS at makikita niyo po dyan sa ibaba not yet registered in my.sss, yun po ang pipiliin niyo, i-click po yan at you will be routed to this page where you can see five options on online member user ID registration. You need to select one information as reported to SSS to register po. You have here savings account number if connected po sa SSS, okay lang po yung gamitin. And also your mobile number na connected sa SSS, you can use that one. But if you have your UMID, you can use your UMID card or UMID ID, okay? Your employer ID if you know it and also your PRN. But in my case, I will choose UMID card. After that, you will be routed to this page where you can see online um, like form where you will need to fill in SSS numbers here and that can be found on your ID and also your email ad. You need to input your email address. It must be active po. Dapat po talaga active kasi mag email si SSS dyan and you need to confirm that one. And you need to choose your preferred user ID. The length must be 8 to 20 characters po. And then first character must be alphabetic. No special characters except underscore. At bawal po yung mga um, hashtags, percent, and asterisk sign. And then fill in yun lang po din. Yun yung username, last name, yung apelgido, given name, yung pangalan, and middle name po. Kung wala namang middle name, skip nyo lang po dyan. And below that middle name, you can see date of birth. Lagay nyo lang po dyan. At yung mailing address nyo po. Dapat Philippine address. Okay? And then below that, you can see Metro Manila or province. If you choose province, just Choose the name of the province, the city, and the municipality, and then the barangay din po. Yung postal code, automatic na po mag appear dyan. And dito naman po sa pinakababa, yung wala, UMID ID or UMID card PIN code, if wala kayo na yan, then you can choose this mother's maiden name reported in A6 UMID card application form. Kung ano pong nilagay na maiden name, yun po ang susundin nyo dito, okay? And then, dito po sa baba, makikita nyo yung word na spring. Yan. Enter the code as it's shown. Diyan nyo po sa box ilagay yung word na spring. Okay? This field helps prevent automated access. Kaya nga, kailangan nyo yung i-type. And then, after nyo may type, dun po sa baba, click nyo lang po yung I accept the terms of service. And then, pagkatapos, click submit. Okay? At once na i-click mo na yung submit, may magpa-pop up sa ibaba na nagsasabi, This action will send the supplied information to SSS. Do you want to continue? Click nyo lang po yung OK. At i-open po ang inyong email dahil nag-send doon si SSS. At marireceive nyo ang ganitong message containing your user ID at ang link kung saan kayo gagawa ng password. By clicking that link, pupunta kayo dito. Makakapunta kayo dito sa ganitong page where you you need to input your password. It must be 8 to 20 alphanumeric characters. First character must be alphabetic po. No special characters and must be different from the user ID. So, hindi po dapat magkapareho yung user ID sa inyong password para po for security purposes. Again, 8 to 20 alphanumeric characters po and the first letter should be alphabetic. Okay po? Then, pagkatapos niyan, you need to log in on the main page using your user ID and the password. And then, after that, you will finally see all the records in your SSS. You can see if you are eligible to file for calamity loan, your contribution records, you can also see a lot of information about you and at makikita nyo po dito yung status nyo if you're employed and also yung password po kung kailan po, po siya mag expire So, dapat po updated po ang password natin for security purposes. Kung hindi nyo matandaan yung password nyo, pakilagay na lang po sa papel at i-keep nyo po dahil kinakailanganin po natin mag-login every now and then if you want to know your status, if you want to file an loan, or if you are eligible of filing the benefits that SSS has offered us. Okay. 
Now we will answer some of the most frequently asked questions po related on registering your online SSS account. So first question is, what is CRN in SSS? So if you own a UMID ID or multi unified multi-purpose ID, then you have a CRN or common reference number. You can find this number on the upper right portion of your UMID card. Your CRN links the ID numbers of SSS, GSIS, Pagibig, and PhilHealth. And the next question is, is the CRN same with SSS number? Well, don't be confused po. Your CRN is different from your SSS number. The CRN is comprised of 12 digits while the SSS number has only 10 digits. So don't be confused. And, and how I have my tips and warning. Number one, access the SSS portal during off-peak periods. Just like any government website, the SSS portal is painfully slow when many people use it at the same time. Worse, it's inaccessible when the SSS website is under maintenance. So if the my.sss portal takes forever to load, try using it at a less busy time, like on a late weeknight or weekend when fewer people access the site, okay? And tip number two, download the SSS mobile app because it's very convenient. Some SSS members like the SSS mobile app because it is user-friendly and convenient. Others experience various issues while using the app, so they use their desktop browser instead, so it's up to you, okay? But still, the SSS mobile app is worth a, tr a try. It shares the same features with the new SSS member portal, plus extra features like salary loan application and maternity notification, so you can transact with the SSS on the go, okay? And of course, I have here tip number three, keep a copy of your user ID and password, as I've mentioned earlier. It is inconvenient to ask help from SSS when you forgot your user ID and or password, okay? Save yourself the stress by writing down your login credentials during your SSS online registration, so you have a copy to refer to when you can't remember your login details and keep this copy in a secure place and never share your login details with anyone and i have here tip number four change your password every 90 days every three months Paul. the password expires after 90 days for your account security thus you have to change your password regularly and update your copy of the login credentials as needed. So as often as needed, you need to change your password. It's very convenient. Just open the app or you may also open the browser, okay? So I think that's it. So if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Share it if you have time and please consider subscribing and click the notification bell for more updates to my upcoming uploads. So thanks for your time in watching this video. Until next time.